Hey everyone, good morning. How are you? <laughs> so it's Sunday morning here. Mm -hmm. Happy Sunday. Happy fun day, Sunday. Sunday fun day. <laughs> oh, hey, how's it going? Good morning. Happy Sunday. I have a little water. I just woke up about, well, I've been meditating. I've been thinking about um, if I was going to read or not. Well, I knew I was going to read. So I've been up for about half an hour, guys. <laughs> but yeah, happy Sunday. I hope you're doing well. I'm sure your day is fabulous. Okay. Thank you for joining. I love your art, by the way. And I didn't mean to dip out the other day <laughs> on you, by the way. Um, who's on my live right now. What happened was I was trying to do a story and I accidentally went live the other day. <laughs> Hi, good morning, how are you? I'm gonna do a reading. I'm just putting my rings on here. I'm gonna do a reading for uh, all zodiac signs for the collective. I'm just gonna see what comes out, what the messages are. And then um, if I have some questions, I'll use some oracle cards if I need to clarify some stuff or my clarification deck. Because I've been um, kind of forgetting to do that, but I feel like I've been forgetting to do that because like it's a little, I've been rushing a little too much, but that's because usually I have to go to work. <laughs> but today I don't have to go to work. Nope, today I don't have to go to work. So, all right. Oh, my healing copper bracelet guys copper a lot of you already know this many many of you who watch me and follow me already know this you are my friends but copper is very healing so i'm wearing that copper ring i love my guardian of the galaxy ring i wear that sometimes but today i'm gonna go with these okay all right so i've already done my protective prayers and blessings i have a candle lit here um, to honor ancestors, God, the master creator of all, Jesus, my homeboy brother prophet showed us the way, um, gods and goddesses, uh, to honor really the entire army of the divine and galactic beings and our ancestors, our guardian angels that look out for us up there. Ooh, somebody's always drawn to this owl feather. Someone's really wise, very wise. I was drawn to this owl feather all of a sudden. Okay, so what deck? Maybe I should start letting you guys pick the deck sometimes. <laughs> what deck am I drawn to today? You know what? I'm drawn to the Del Toro. I haven't used that for a while. Okay, this is the Del Toro uh, tarot deck. And actually, guys, I like saying divination. But more people know it by tarot now. So isn't it cool? Hell yeah. This deck is not evil or bad because it has... Um, kind of a darker style of art on it. Quite the opposite. It's badass. Um, I absolutely love the illustrator of this. You're fucking awesome, man. Amazing illustrator. So these, part of it is these are wood carvings. <laughs> you know, he does some wood carvings too. So really, really cool spiritual stuff. Even though it looks scary, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not bad. <laughs> So guys, too, I want to talk about, maybe I want to touch on, sometimes things look scary or look bad, especially in the spiritual world, but they're not. So, but sometimes <laughs> things that look scary are bad <laughs> in the spiritual wor world. So um, just make sure you do your research before you judge people, before you make assumptions. Guys, I'm guilty of it. I've made bad assumptions about people in the past, not now, but like in the past, like, just assumptions, right? Don't assume, ask questions. I'm supposed to remind someone of that right now. But so let's see what's on the bottom of this deck I was drawn to. Oh, seven of wands, huh? Very spiritually protected. Hell yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, and I have to tell people something. So I've decided with how, just how busy my life is right now, I am going to do, um, I think I've said it once before, but most of my readings are going to be for all zodiac signs. However, I decided that what I'll do 
since um guys i'm trying my best i'm just i'm exhausted and i'm overwhelmed between like art stuff and work and creating online content and um reading divination helping people doing spiritual work talking to friends and it's not just talking to friends it's helping people so i'm going to do readings for all zodiac signs from now on most of the time and then i'll do a reading for each zodiac sign either only once or twice a month and i like that for right now once i do this full time guys i'm going to read 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 <laughs> And I'm going to do more zodiac sign messages, but I got I'm going to do all zodiac signs mainly. Okay, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and elders, thank you so much for these messages today. Thank you for this reading. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. We love you. I only channel from the light, guys. I do not channel from the dark. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's dangerous. Keep yourself protected out there, okay? I don't know why I wanted to do that real quick. Maybe because what I was talking about. What's up this Sunday? What does the collective need to know? What messages for the collective? Reading today. Hey, Ninjis, come on up. Are you saying hi? Oh. <laughs> I got denied a little bit for his. You know what it is, guys? He's mad at me because I'm out of treats. <laughs> how kids are right no i was out of i'm out of treats i have to go pick him up some later today <laughs> he's got food but he's like where's my treats he likes his routine oh <laughs> what messages for today last shuffle <laughs> yeah they're ready to talk it's a big lump come out <laughs> what messages today for the collective what is needed Thanks for being here with me, guys, um, and take a moment to say thank you. Thank you for, to those who subscribe to me on YouTube. Special shout out to Karen and Mill. I love you guys so much. And I miss some of my old friends on YouTube that used to comment and we used to watch each other's videos, and I hope you come back. And thank you, everyone on Instagram. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you, everyone on TikTok. Thank you, everyone on Facebook. My Facebook people are phenomenal. All right, here we go. Oh. All right. singing a low note a high notes let's see here so we've got four of swords upright all right healing work going on someone's maybe on a little hiatus for something a little break from something taking a break what's going on here Okay, guys, so <clears throat> this person needs to heal. They're not balanced. You guys, take it how it resonates. This could be a reading for you, or it could be, well, it's still a reading for you, but this could be you, or this could be someone in your life. This person needs to heal. They're not balanced. Not stable. They don't want me to say balanced. They're not stable. Especially with money. I'm going to work on their money. They're giving too many money to friends. Because part of the stability um, of the six of pentacles, part of the stability of the six of pentacles is that you help people, you're a philanthropist, so you get a lot of good uh, vibes, a lot of good energy back, right? Well, this person with the Six of Pentacles, like, they're not 
they're giving too much away. Someone is giving too much away in the collective, and they're really giving away too much of their time, their energy. To friends, friends and family. This is draining their fucking money, man. I know, like, as an empath, as an intuitive, as I grow as a reader, and guys, and how I was raised, I just want to cry. This person's so kind. This person is so kind. I feel like they're helping people in the wrong way. Sometimes, guys, you think you're helping someone. Really take a look at it. Evaluate what you're saying to people, what you're telling people, how you're treating people. Really evaluate. Oh, hi, handsome. Hi, it's so good to see you. <laughs> um, so really evaluate how you guys with money and work situations, how you're treating people, how you're talking to people. Hmm. Yeah, that came out. This person is not stable emotionally because the cups are here, emotional cups. Someone's not stable. And I know it's not you. <laughs> I'll just call you Haven. <laughs> I know it's not you, Haven. I know it's not you. But you came on after these cards came out. <laughs> but so what I'm talking about, Haven, there's someone here who's not uh, stable. Stability. They're not emotionally balanced and they're like giving their money away. So reverse emperor here. Maybe this person, the reverse emperor, maybe they're, uh, oh, that's okay. There's a reverse emperor energy here. So this person trying to help people too much, okay, in the collective, there's someone, they need to heal. <laughs> they need a hiatus from this shit. They ain't thinking straight. Um, they're trying to help people, but too much. And they're not, and, and it's like about money. Uh, and um, it's like draining their emotional cups, and it's also it's gonna. It, they have celebrations with friends and family, but it's about their emotions. Maybe helping people too much has been too hard on them emotionally. But they really enjoy helping people. They love it. They feel good helping people. Of course you feel good helping people. This is draining their money though. This person, whoever it is. And there's a reverse emperor here. So what that tells me is they're not being a good boss. They're not being a good boss energy. I don't know who that's going to resonate for. This is two of swords. Yeah, there's something they don't see. They can't see. You know, guys, I have this thing on my Instagram um, that... I wrote on a little thing and I got it from somewhere else. It wasn't mine originally, um, but I loved it. I loved it. I think I might have tweaked a couple words in it actually, but um, I love it. It says, uh, how are you going to learn something new if you know everything already? So I feel like this is for someone who is of an older age, definitely over 30. This is not a message for someone younger than that, I feel. But someone is being a reverse emperor, which is like a reverse boss. Um, they're not stable with their money, emotions. Money's coming in, but yeah, it's like their money's draining. I don't know what that's about. Um, and that causes a lot of stress though. Guys, when you have a lot of stress, you can't think clear. I'm supposed to say this. Makes you unstable. Uh, trust me, I know. I'm not. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? Because I have this issue too. When I get too stressed out, when I get so stressed out, and Haven, you've seen this in me, I cry. Like, I break down. I, I, you guys, I've even like, you know, I get snippy with people or I yell at people or I treat them like shit. <laughs> and that's the truth. If I'm like really tired, or really hungry. So spirit wants me to talk about this. Make sure you're taking care of yourself first and make sure you're being kind and helping people 
but don't be so kind and help people that it's going to drain your money. You got to make sure you're both profitable with it, right? Like helping both of you. What else is here? Appreciate your good employees. Appreciate the good people are honest too. Damn. Three of swords. A lot of, there's some swords here, man. There's some anger going on. Swords, swords, swords. Emotions. There's money here. There's money coming in. I don't know what's, why it's so unstable. Three of swords. Oh, fucking A, man. King of Pentacles in reverse. There's bad habits here. <clears throat> uh, bad unlearned. It's bad learned behaviors that haven't been unlearned. Could be drugs or alcohol too. Either with them or someone around them. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I called it. I didn't even look at the cards, guys. You saw that. I didn't even look at the cards. I got a work vibe. It was so weird. Not weird. <laughs> I shouldn't think it's weird anymore. I need to get used to it. I still surprise myself, guys. <laughs> still surprise myself. I wake in late in this lifetime. Well, that's just not true. I was awake as fuck when I was a teenager. Awake as fuck when I was in my early 20s going to art school. And then I got married. I got lost. I met one of my twin flames. But I made it through this chaos. I made it through the storm. My husband is definitely one of my twin flames. He's my soulmate, right? <laughs> okay, so if any of you are like me and you kind of got lost on your path, or you got married and, you know, I put so much love and energy into my stepdaughter who ended up just turning on me, betraying me, rejecting me. It's been the most painful thing in my life, guys. So painful. I'm supposed to talk about this, I guess. But this person's getting bad karma. I got to finish this person first. This person's getting bad karma. Whatever the fuck is going on here at work. It stops the energy flow. Like when there's negative shit at work, it stops the energy flow. But guys, also be forgiving. Like, I fuck up at work sometimes. Like, shit, I get snippy or angry or... So let's all be more understanding with people we work with. I feel like that's the fucking message today. Um, you can help people at work, but don't help too much. Sometimes when you help people too much and they don't give anything back to you, it hurts, right? It hurts. Hi, hey, good morning. <laughs> good to see you. Um, so talk about work right now, Shanu, for, it's going to resonate for someone. Six of cups. Oh, this is someone who keeps thinking about the past, but in a loving way. Maybe they're reminiscing about the past. Maybe there's something about the past. Okay. So basically so far, it looks like, uh, be careful at work collective, whether you're working online whether you're working a JLB or whether you own a business and you employ other people, just be careful at work. I feel like there's something really unstable, off balance at work and it's emotions. Guys, that could be caused by stress. I don't know. I don't know what's causing it here. I don't even want to ask. I was going to ask. I'm like, no, I don't even want to ask. What else do you have to tell us? Something about the past. There's some bad karma here. There's a reverse king of pentacles. There's some sort of um, someone at work or someone around you or someone that you work with online has bad addictions or bad toxic learn behaviors. They're not unlearning. Guys, it's not easy to heal. It's not easy to undo those learned behaviors. Fuck, I'm 43. Things have been engraved in me, ingrained in me so hard. You know, I haven't, like, I tried starting healing, like, a lot as a teenager and one of my 20s, guys. But 
Um, there was really hard to find good therapists and counselors, really hard. Nowadays, it's easier, it's better, because a lot of the therapists and counselors incorporate um, stuff that's factual, stuff that's actual, and aren't using shit from, like, the 1930s. I don't want to go to a therapist or counselor, I'm sorry, who's using some shit that someone wrote from the 1930s. We're not in the 1930s. Maybe therapists and counselors need to hear that. Like, I like therapists, uh, more like life coaches that do like mind, body, spirit, and recognize that you need all three to be completely happy. Mm -hmm. Diddy. <laughs> this is Ninja, everybody. Ninja Gangs number one in the house. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else comes out. Thank you so much for this message today. What can help this situation? What can help this situation? There's resentments about the past. I see it now with the swords. It's about, it has to do with addictions and learn toxic behaviors. Got to break that generational curse. I know it's hard, guys. I'm fighting hard. <laughs> so, yes, we are exactly. We're in 2024. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks for everyone who joined. Yeah, we ain't in the 1930s anymore. We're in the fucking 2024. So why are these therapists and counselors, even spiritual workers, why are you using shit that was written? Like, I mean, you can learn stuff, but let's, you know, of course you can learn stuff from it. I'm not saying throw it away. I'm just saying you got to adapt it, change it a little bit. Like, you know, so let me, I want people to think about things in a certain way right now. Okay. Let me ask you this. I'm really curious. So when I post this video on Instagram and YouTube, I am really curious of people's opinion. I want to see how, like, so don't you think there should be a new Bible written? Or a new Quran? I mean, some people would get so mad at me and say it's blasphemy. I don't, I don't feel that way. The divine's not getting mad at me for saying it. In fact, I feel good. They're like patting me on the back. Don't you think there should be a new version of the Quran or the Bible by now? And maybe there is some written. I don't know. Maybe some magical elfkins or star seeds or whatever. Or spiritual workers are, have written one, have started writing one. But my God, like it's time to update. It's time to integrate. Time to change with the times, man. And I'm not dissing. The Bible. I'm not dissing the Quran. I'm not dissing the Book of Mormon. I ain't dissing any of those holy works. Hell no. They are so important. They should always be around. What I'm saying is time to write a new one. That's how I feel. <laughs> That's just how I feel. <laughs> All right. So what other messages for today? What can help this situation? What can help the situation? And by God, you Bible thumpers too. Stop judging people. Be kind. There are different cultures, religions, races around the world. It doesn't matter what they believe in as long as it's good. As long as it's with the light. Okay? doesn't matter if it's Buddha. It doesn't matter if it's Muhammad. It doesn't matter if it's Jesus or Jesus or Mary Magdalene or Lady Guadalupe. I don't even fucking care if you fucking... Appreciate SpongeBob. That's who you worship. As long as it's good, as long as you're learning good things to do good things for other people. I mean, my God, stop judging people. You know, guys, we're all, and I'm talking to the Bible thumpers. <laughs> I love my friends. You homies, you guys are badasses. You don't fucking judge me. That's why you're my friend. <laughs> I'm a little weirdo. <laughs> so thank you for loving me and accepting me. But um, yeah, I'm so tired of these fucking Bible thumpers. Like, Thinking they know everything, judging everybody. Oh, she must be bad because she wears sexy stuff. Ew, nasty fuck. What? This whole lady, there's an old man, were like messaging me. Now I can laugh about it. Good. I'm healing. Like, oh, she's a nasty fuck. <laughs> you know what? I do have sex. And yeah, I'm a nasty fuck fuck in the bedroom and I ain't afraid to say it. I love sex. I love sex. Sex is good for you. Sex is divine. Sex is part 
of our lives. Sex is pleasurable. So guys, I'm going to explain right now. They, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Aww. Um, so yeah, you're, you're right. Sometimes don't worry, sometimes don't worry about the outcome, but sometimes you need to kind of visualize the outcome, right? To get to where your goals are. Thank you. Um, appreciate that. Um, but what I'm saying about this sexual stuff, so let me explain something because I realized maybe I need to explain it. So whoever ever spying on me, watching me and then hating on me and getting so angry all the time, I am triggering you. I'm not meaning to trigger you. I'm just being me. I'm just doing the reading. I don't manipulate the cards, guys. What comes out, comes out. If the reading triggers you, and I'm not talking to you, my friend. <laughs> You're good. Who's on the live right now. I am talking about some of these women and some of these older men, too. I have, but that's a lot of women. I can feel it. A lot of feminine energy. So if I am triggering you, and that means there's something on yourself you need to work on. There's something about me that triggers you, you're jealous of, or just bothers you. Well, why? Take a look at it. Why does it bother you? So it happens to me, guys, too. I get triggered. I get jealous of some people, and I have to take a look and reel back in my feelings. Go, why am I acting like this way towards someone? You know, go look inwards. Um, but there is nothing wrong with sex. There's nothing wrong with the human body. It is beautiful, especially the natural, divine, motherly, feminine body. And I am showing it because I finally have the strength and confidence now to show it. Someone said something to me the other day and said, oh, well, you only want to do an OnlyFans account or you're showing your body because you have low self-esteem. Oh, no, no, no. Quite the opposite. And I love you, my friend. who said that to me. Um, but oh, thank you for the fire. It is quite the opposite. I do want to do an OnlyFans account, guys. I do. I want, I do. I don't mind showing my body now. I don't mind showing my sexuality, my sensuality. It's beautiful. Um, I need money. And so it wasn't about my low self-esteem. It's about that I wanted to make money. And also, and I mean this sincerely, I'm showing my body because people need to see the divine feminine body natural without plastic surgery. Okay. I don't have any liposuction. Okay. These are natural. I don't have any injections. These are natural. And guys, this is my hips and my butt. This is real. This is like, there's a little fat there, but look, it's, oh, that's my hips and my butt. It's natural. Okay. And I'm going to show it. And if you're getting triggered by this, then maybe you need to like work on yourself and why you're getting triggered. Maybe you're raised Mormon like me. A lot of Mormon women, we were brainwashed um, to think that our body is bad. A lot of religious households, they teach women that their body is bad. Your body is not bad. Men or women, your body's not bad. The body is natural, guys. When we were all natives and all of us are native to the earth, all of us. So stop hating on each other. No matter what your skin color is, no matter what shape and size you are, all of us are native to the earth. You hear me? Do your ancestry. Trace it back. We're all native. I'm saying that because there's someone who made me very angry the other day. All right. Um, there are swords here. You can feel the energy. But um, what I'm saying is, okay, so why I'm showing my body, part of it is my transformation from when I was heavier. And I fluctuate weight, guys. I get lighter. And, but why I'm showing my body is so people can heal. So people can see a real body. Not someone who's cut up their nose so that you can see up their nostrils. This is what you guys look like. This is what you women look like that have nose jobs. I'm sorry to be real. Half of you women that have nose jobs, this is what you look like now. I'm sorry to be real. And I'm going to fight against plastic surgery. And I'm going to talk about it. So now is a good segue, actually. I meant to talk about this. To talk about Ozempic. Oh, fuck Ozempic. What the fuck? Fuck Ozempic. Fuck Ozempic. Fuck the generic Ozempics. No. 
you know what, guys? I'm happy for people when they lose weight. Put in the work. Eat right. Do the hard work. I looked up Ozempic. It's fucked up. Do you know there are main, just the main ones, there are 16 main side effects. Thank you for the love. Yeah, I do need to focus on the reading. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you. Thank, thank you for keeping me back on track. I'm just upset about the Sozempic thing. I'll get back on track. Dude, there are 16 main um, side effects to Ozempic. One of them is cancer. Thyroid problems, kidney problems, constipation, diarrhea, headaches, nausea. You can't focus because it makes you feel like you're on fucking meth or speed. You guys, I'm just warning people. I do not recommend you take Ozempic. Do the work. Put in the work. You don't need to take this shit. And Sharon and Kelly Osborne, what are you doing? I want to remind people, do not take medical advice. From people that look like aliens now, they got mental health issues going on. They got spiritual issues going on, okay? And I love the Osbournes. Oh my God, I've been a fan forever. I used to think Kelly was one of the most beautiful girls in the world. I actually had a crush on you, Kelly, when you were younger. <laughs> I had a crush on you. I didn't realize it. <laughs> Kelly Osborne, I did. But now you look like an alien. So does Sharon. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm sorry you do. And why I'm angry, I wasn't going to say anything about all this shit, like about, I don't want to talk bad about people, but I'm sorry. You guys look like aliens now and you're on all over these platforms telling people to take Ozempic and there's nothing wrong with it. You're wrong, Kelly Osborne, and you're wrong, Sher Sharon Osborne. You guys are good women. I know you are. I know you guys have been through so much hate and so much stuff online that you like, felt like you had to change your face and your body, everything about yourself. It's sad. Please stop, guys, these celebrities. Don't, please don't promote Ozempic, Kelly Osborne and Sharon Osborne. Please do your research. Please, okay? But guys, I'm warning you. There's something about, I don't know, it came up. But guys, if people are on Ozempic and they're starting to act crazy, it's because it's the drug. The generic ones or the Ozempic, it's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for you. I don't care what anyone says. I'm going to stick by that. So just that's someone needs to hear that. A lot of people need to hear that. But um, I do understand that some people need to lose weight to save their life. So I'm saying, let's say you're a person that's like 300, 400, 500 pounds plus. Okay. You might want to take a look at something with your doctor to help you start losing weight at first and then get off of it. Because this fucking injections they're giving you guys, these injections, um, they're serious side effects. Cancer and shit. I'm not joking. Permanent damage to your body. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. So you know what? I'd rather be my natural curvy chub of self <laughs> and work out and eat healthy if I want to slim down than die. My life is more important. My healthy body, my life is more important than trying to make other women in media happy by being skinny. Because I'll tell you what, most men and some women, they love it. They love curves. They love natural curves. So I don't know what the fuck all this Ozempic shit is about. But honestly, it's fucking evil. To me, it's just evil. All right, here we go. Back on track. Thank you. I'm sorry. You're right. I got off track. But there's a reason. There's always a reason. <laughs> Knight of Swords. Okay, so someone's very diligent. Someone's very active. Um, okay. Knight of Swords here. It's upright though. Nine of Swords. It almost looks like the way this is looking, it almost looks like someone cut someone else down. It almost looks like someone cut someone else down. I don't know if that makes sense to someone. They're so sad now. This person's really sad. Sleepless nights, anxiety, they're worried. They're a very diligent person. They're very hardworking. This is a very hardworking person, this Knight of 
sword. So why are they so sad? Why are they having such anxiety, sleepless nights? Let's see here. Because the king of cups? There's love here. A king of cups made bad decisions, man. Hey, Ninjis. Hi. Hi. Yeah, someone's sad here because a king of cups. Or maybe it's a king of cups that's sad. Oh, maybe it's a king of cups that's sad because someone made bad decisions. Take it how it resonates, okay, guys? Reverse Queen of Pentacles. You know, someone's not stable emotionally. They're not bringing in money. What's going on here? Seven of Swords. There's a betrayer here. Someone's not being honest. They don't like the word betrayer. It's not betrayed. It's someone's not being honest. The King of Cups is the is yeah being affected quite a bit. There's someone making bad decisions. They need to change. They're very passionate about this person. It's a reverse queen of pentacles here, meaning they're not being balanced. They're not being stable. Definitely not with money. Not being stable or balanced with money. I'm not being honest about something. All these swords. So much anger here. Aggression. Quarrels, fighting, arguments, battle. It feels like a battle. Whatever this reading is for, maybe it's time to put down the swords. You know, and this came out uh, in the collective reading yesterday, guys. So uh, the shadow work card was about home, which was about your body. Um, it's talking about pleasures and passion. And so it's good to have passion for your body and like sex, you know, um, in a healthy way, in a safe way. <laughs> you know, be safe, guys. Wrap it up if you need to. If you're single, you're sleeping around, okay? Or if you're in an open relationship or if you're in um, a polyamorous relationship, right? You know, be safe. Practice safe sex. But the vibe I get from here, there's a lot of arguing. There's a lot of quarrels. It feels like a battle. Maybe um, it's time to put down those swords. Time to put down those swords. Mm. -hmm. Time to ascend to the light. Time to change some things. Yeah, need to ascend to the light. You're not judging each other, judging everybody. You know, guys, I've definitely learned... As a leader as well myself, I used to manage retail stores, for real. I was a manager. Huge retail stores. Huge. Did a lot of money. I had the lowest retention rate ever of employees. Every time I worked somewhere, managed somewhere. So I was such a cool boss. I was so understanding about certain things. But one of my faults as a leader, as a boss, and I mean this. I did this to people. I remember around the past. And... Because I was thinking the other day, why would my employees get mad at me? Because there was times, of course, I was not perfect. There's times that like, well, of course, I was born perfect. I was created perfect. <laughs> but I mean, in my actions, what I do, then I'm not perfect, you know, in handling situations or stress all the time. And I thought about what the times I did upset my employees or what I did wrong. I didn't put myself in their shoes. Um, and I would explode sometimes a little bit, get too frustrated too fast about stressful situations. So be kind at work, be understanding. Same with your family situations. Family all of a sudden came to mind. Be kind, be understanding. We're different people. We're all different zodiac signs. We're all different personalities. 
We all had a different experience in our life here. All of us. All of us had different trauma. All of us. Unless it's like your brother or sister. And they probably understand you really fucking well. As guys, sometimes brothers and sisters don't understand each other. You were raised in the same goddamn household, but you had different experiences because you're different zodiac sign, you're different personality, you're different old soul, you know? So I just, for some reason, I'm supposed to tell someone, stop trying to cram it down everybody's throat the way you want to do things. I used to do that. Maybe I do still sometimes. I got to work on that. Like we all think our own way is right and that it has to be done this way. It has to be done this way. No, it doesn't. There are a lot of different ways to get things done. One way of being such an amazing leader is letting people shine. Letting people do it their way. If it doesn't work and you don't like it, I understand. I understand. But let people shine. Lead the horse to water. You can't force a horse, especially if it's like a thousand pounds heavier than you. You can't fucking force a horse to come drink the water. No, you have to lead the horse to water. Come here, buddy. Here's your carrot. <laughs> you got to lead the horse to water, okay? And you don't shove the fucking horses in that goddamn water trough once it gets there and say, oh, I got you. Now you come here. You know, and drown them. Like... That's, blah. like, I don't know why I'm saying that. I don't know if this will resonate. This, well, of course it's going to resonate for someone. It always does. It will. Messages are needed. But, um, yeah, I got to work on that and not be so forceful um, and let people form their own opinions, you know, and, and let people do things the way they want to do them. If the end result is the same, who gives a fuck how they do it? And also remember, guys, sometimes people have been doing things on the opposite side. Maybe sometimes have been, people have been doing things the same way for so long that they don't want to change. And if they don't want to change, they just don't want to change. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so, okay. All right, enough about that. There's the king of swords here. Uh, so a very intelligent, very masculine energy. Um, so you're very action oriented, very smart, very smart in business, very, very smart, very smart, very intelligent. Uh, you're sending to the light more for all this shit you've been through. The Empress in reverse. So this is a person that's having a more aggressive masculine energy, whether you're feminine and they're not balanced. So when the Empress is upright, you can use all the queens and all the kings and use all these different happy tools from your tool belt to like just make everything flow. And the Empress is very healing energy, right? Very magical, like. But uh, this, this person is not balanced, which is saying throughout the whole reading. Um, to me, guys, with all these swords, it feels like anger, resentment, and stress, okay? That's what it feels like. And it actually said that in the Nine of Swords, literally. They don't sleep enough. You guys, if you don't get enough sleep, well, this happened to me. <laughs> if you don't get enough sleep, you're like, sometimes you're fucked. <laughs> so get enough rest, please. Um, eat. Um, I think some people think being skinny is everything, guys. No, it's not. Some of you look anorexic. Some of you look bulimic. It's sad. It's sad I love you guys please stop please eat eat <laughs> and I don't mean that people that have an eating problem like I overeat sometimes guys emotionally if I get upset I overeat no you're not doing that collective you're not doing that I'm saying there's some of these women that think that like your bone showing is sexy it's not sexy you look like a skeleton please eat something so guys, these women that don't eat and these women that uh, throw up all their food and don't sleep and they're taking these medications to lose weight, which makes them feel like they're on meth and crack and then it's giving them cancers and permanent damage to their bodies and their kidneys and thyroid and shit like that. There needs to be change, okay? 
So what's going on that makes people erratic? You can't think straight. So put yourself in other people's shoes. If they're doing drugs like that, and yes, guys, pharmaceuticals are drugs, probably the worst on the fucking earth besides heroin, you know, but pharmaceuticals and fentanyl and shit. But I'm saying pharmaceuticals are bad. They make this stuff out of nowhere to do one thing and it has 20 million side effects. Fucking ridiculous. So just, I want people to remember, if anyone's dealing with anyone like this, you know, um, I want you to remember, okay, that put yourself in their shoes. They're not thinking straight. Body detox. This is coming up. So me and my husband are doing a body detox. Yay. Oh, yeah. Let's shake the titties. <laughs> You guys are kind of being an asshole today because I'm showing off my body more and pissing people off like these jealous women. Because when I went to a show on Saturday night at the bar, it felt so good. I used to be one of those jealous hater women at the bar that would like, you know, with like pretty women talk to my man or whatever. I'd be like, I'd pop up and hey, hi, what's going on? <laughs> now I'm like, no, I'm like. Cool. This beautiful woman thinks my man is hot. I'm talking to her. I don't care because we're married. I know he's my life partner. It's all good. It's all good. So anyways, I just <laughs> trigger these women that are so jelly. So jelly, jealous. <laughs> I make people laugh today too. But um, there's nothing wrong with what I'm wearing. This is a bathing suit, guys. I can wear this as a bathing suit um, or it's a workout fitness outfit that I wear with yoga pants. But I felt like wearing it today. And I miss my grandma Maxine. And she always uh, loved like leopard print and tiger print and all that stuff. I love you, grandma. Okay. So there's an eight of swords here. Someone feels bound. Oh, someone feels really bound and stuck. That's why they're uh, not balanced. They're bound or stuck to something. They feel stuck, like bound, like trapped in something. There's an eight of wands here in reverse. There's not enough forward moving motion that they would like. Okay. You know, let's get something from the Lantern Oracle deck. I'll get some angel cards. No, you want this first? Okay, I feel that too. Okay, we're going to use these angel cards. Thank you, beautiful, who gave me these. Fellow Sagittarius, fuck yeah. <laughs> I love you so much. She calls me apes. I love it. This deck is so amazing. So let's get some good angel tarot on this. Um... Thank you so much. You gave me this deck. I fucking love this deck. You picked out, I'm not supposed to cry. You picked out the most perfect present and deck for me. Thank you so much. It was a Christmas gift. Very special. <laughs> All right. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and elders. Thank you so much. What can help this situation? What else did you want to say in this reading? Thank you so much for these messages today. Guys, like I said, this could be work online. This could be a J-O-B. This could be work you're doing with your family. Because, guys, I'm doing some work with my family now, starting to. And it's I love it, though. Like, my with my brothers, we vibe so fucking well. There's no problem there. We laugh all the time. They love me. I love you, too, bros. Oh, mwah, mwah. I love my brothers. I love you, bros. My favorite people in the world. Some of my favorite people in the world. Love my brothers. Um, but when I work with my mom, <laughs> my mother, <laughs> it's just the truth, guys. It's something about that mom-like relationship. Um, I get frustrated. Sometimes she gets frustrated with me, but it's more usually me getting frustrated with her. But, Mom, I love you so much, and you're so wise. <laughs> I love my mom. You're so sweet, mom. I love you, mom. I love you, mom. I love you, mom. You guys, sometimes moms or grandmothers, like, because I have, like, people in my life, and I'm not joking, they're, like, adopted moms, and, like, 
and like my spirit moms or my spirit grandmothers since my grandmothers have all crossed over now i miss them so much so i have other people that are like my spirit mom or my spirit grandmother and thank you to those women you're so wonderful and beautiful thanks for helping me okay here we go what other card or cards for this message today what did you want to say Told me to stop. You just want to. Four of cups, four of water. Missing an opportunity. Discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibility. Oh. Needs to be some healing here because water's emotion is healing, but. You're missing an opportunity. You're not seeing something that's right in front of your face like an opportunity. Ten of Swords. All this came in reverse, by the way. It really did. If you guys saw, I turned it around. I had to turn around and read it. That's fucking awesome. You have a period of advantage, power, and profit right now. That's amazing. Whoever's read this reading is resonating for. But you're missing an opportunity. What is it? Are you not seeing something? So the Ten of Swords, the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Yay! Holla! <laughs> Recovering from an addiction. What did I say? Addiction ran all over this year. Or past learning toxic behaviors that aren't healing. This is Ten of Swords in reverse, though. Yay! A period of... Period of advantage, power, and profit. But make sure you're not missing opportunities in the future, okay? Because maybe you're not seeing something clearly because of your own emotions and feelings. Be sure to put yourself in other people's shoes. Hi, good morning. Hey, thanks for joining. I'm almost done with the reading. I'm going to do um, a lantern oracle card and then maybe an angel card and end it that way. Okay. So this is a little bit of shadow work. Um, what card for this message today from the Lantern Oracle deck? What message today from the Lantern Oracle deck? Oh, and I hope you guys have such a wonderful, fucking awesome weekend and happy Sunday. Thanks to everyone who joined my live and gave me love. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the likes, the hearts, the emojis, the comments. You guys are so good to me. Thanks for sharing my videos. So you guys to share my videos. Thank you so much. I love you. Mwah. All right, let's all network together. <laughs> okay. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and elders, thank you so much. What Lantern Oracle deck card for today? Oh, that flew out. You guys see that? They were waiting to say that shit. <laughs> okay, your ancestors have a special message for you. One eight. One for spirit self. Eight for money abundance. You're very good at bringing in money. Radical honesty. To believe in the facade is to suffocate in the armor of alienation. Self-defeat, self-denial. Don't defeat yourself. Don't be in such self-denial. Look at yourself. Um, help yourself first so you can help others. But also this is about... Don't believe in the facade of like what the machine has taught you in movies or uh, some cult-like, and I mean cult-like religion, C-U-L-T. Um, some cult-like religions have put bad, bad stuff in people's head to controlling. Um, so see through the facade. Um, also make sure that you're not doing damage to yourself, right? Armor of alienation, self-denial, self-defeat. It's all about you. Your money, your abundance, it's all about you. Don't blame it on others. It's all about you. There's others, I feel like there's others trying to help you. Take that help. And sometimes you need to ask for help, but okay, cool. Angel card, and then we'll end the reading for today. <laughs> Angel card, give us some good news, good news, good news. What message today for this reading? And happy Sunday, everyone. Sorry, I almost did 
a different kind of reading, uh, but this was meant to be. I like whatever comes out, comes out. <laughs> Spirit guide, angels, and oh, angels. What angel message for today? You know, and I keep this owl feather. I keep being drawn to this owl feather today. Someone's very wise. You're very fucking wise. You know a lot. You know a lot. You know a ton. You help a lot of people. What angel card or cards today for this reading? Thank you so much, angels. Let's put some blessings on this shit. There's going to be change here. Good change. It's positive change. The Holy Trinity. You're going to have celebrations, achievements, events with friends and family coming up. Right here at this Three of Cups. <clears throat> okay, so it's, it's good. It's good. Angel of Claire Sentience 2. One, two, it came out in reverse, so someone's not listening to their angels. Someone ain't listening. <laughs> Let's, I want to read this. One, one, 11, spirit self. You're not listening to your inner voices. You're not listening to angels. You're not listening to your spirit guide. It's the truth. Whoever this reading is resonating for. Angel of clairsentience. Or if it's resonating for someone around you that's like this, Okay. Angel of Clairsentience, the feelings you are receiving are correct. Your gift of Clairsentience is guiding you. But it came in reverse, so you're not listening enough. But you have this. You, you're, you like have really strong intuitions. A lot of wisdom. You have a lot of wisdom. It's almost like you can look at someone. Seriously, like almost like you can look at someone and size them up. It's the kind of vibe I'm getting. I'm getting this like warrior vibe from you. Like you know what the fuck's up. So here we go. <laughs> I allow and accept the guidance of my angel clairsentience into my life. Together we will rediscover the spiritual flow in my life, allowing me to make decisions by using, oh, look at Nancy's flow in and out, in between. Here we go. <laughs> I allow and accept the guidance of my angel clairsentience into my life. Together we will rediscover the spiritual flow in my life. Allowing me to make decisions by using my gift of clairsentience. Cool. Your angel clairsentience is here to help you reawaken your built-in spiritual GPS system. I love how that's put. Yeah, your spiritual GPS system. And hi, everyone who joined. Hey, what's happening? How you doing? <laughs> so... We're here to help you reawaken. The messages you receive will come in a form of gut feelings, your gut, inner knowing, physical sensations. Like sometimes you get chills over your body, guys. Uh, sometimes you start sneezing. Like your body will tell you certain things. <laughs> um, and um, so physical sensation, the empathy for others. How many times when you have met someone has a little warning gone off in your stomach telling you that you can't trust this person? You ignore the feeling only to discover later that this initial warning was correct. Oh, guys, that's happened to me a lot. I'm such a nice, loving person. and I'm on the spectrum. I'm very, very high functioning autistic. And my autism is different. It's because I'm an empath. I'm an intuitive. I'm a I'm like a I'm a creative genius and I'm very intelligent. So. But when I tell people that I'm autistic, they think I'm stupid. I'm not fucking stupid. Just because my brain works differently, it doesn't mean I'm stupid. So guys, if you're dealing with creatives, if you're dealing with people on the spectrum in any sort of way, any type of uh, whatever, wherever they test on the spectrum, they're not stupid. We're just different. We're unique. We're not fucking stupid. Our brains think differently than yours. Just because our brains think differently, it doesn't mean it's wrong. I'm not stupid. You're not stupid. Don't let anyone make you feel that way. Someone's degrading you. Someone's putting you down. Someone's disrespecting you. And you get that inner gut feeling you're afraid of them. You feel insecure around them all the time. You feel afraid to say anything. Your body's telling you, get out of there. Get out of there. And it's real. Your body will tell you. Like, guys, I will have visceral reactions to people sometimes where it makes me sick. Like, I feel sick being around them. Bad vibe, bad juju, bad energy, right? 
or there's people I'm afraid of. Like, I don't even want to stand by them. Because their energy is scary, scary to me. Um, guys, I was abused really badly when I was a kid. Bad, bad, bad. From people in an LDS church. And from, you know, bad things taught to my parents. And it really traumatized me really bad. And I have a visceral reaction now to women, especially older abusive women that have this vibe, this energy to them. And it's not all the time. It's just like when it comes up. And by the way, guys, I can be that way too. I can be angry and I don't want to be anymore. I'm trying so hard not to be. I'm breaking that generational curse. I am breaking that generational curse. I try so hard not to yell. I have PTSDs, guys. I have CPTSD. I have PTSDs, complex PTSDs from how much abuse I got as a child. And I was autistic and no one knew. They were abusing an autistic child over and over and over again. And my sisters were so mean to me. My stepsisters were so mean to me, but no one knew I was autistic and it doesn't matter because you know what? When I tell people that I'm autistic, it, it, it's like they look at me like I'm disabled, like I'm handicapped. I'm not handicapped. I'm not disabled. I'm a fucking rad, amazing autistic adult and I am awesome. I am fucking rad. I am a magical fucking manifester. I'm like a fucking wizard. So people who don't appreciate me can kick rocks. They don't need to be in my life. And I'm saying this because I'm giving you strength. There's someone that ain't treating you right. There's someone that ain't appreciating you. They can kick rocks. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, okay? They can come back and apologize. Let them back in your life once they've healed more. Once they apologize. So anyways, wow, that's meant to be. Someone needs to hear that, like. So you get that gut feeling, you can't trust this person. You know, you know, the second you leave, the second you leave the room, whether it's right, like your sister-in-laws or your sisters or your maybe a mother or maybe work situations, you leave the room and you know they're talking shit on you. You can feel it. You know they're talking shit on you. It feels awful. It feels awful. It feels like shit, man, when people say, bad shit to you. They try to make you feel like you don't fit in. It's bullshit. Please, everybody, be kind to each other. Be more understanding. And guys, people are going to get frustrated at work. People are going to lose their temper. People are going to say shitty things sometimes. So be understanding. Forgive them. And I do. I forgive everybody that's been mean to me or bullied me. I really do forgive you. Doesn't mean I want to be around you. Doesn't mean I want to be your friend anymore. Doesn't mean I want to, you know, be around that energy. But I forgive you. Because I know. Hurt people hurt people. We're all hurting. We're all trying to heal. You know, we're all trying to be happy. I'm happy. <laughs> we're trying to heal, man. And you are going to heal. We are healing together. <laughs> okay. So have you ever been offered a new job and your inner GPS system told you that this is not for you? That didn't happen with my job, guys. When I got my job that I'm working at right now, I was so excited. I had the best feeling, the best vibe. My boss lady, she's so fucking beautiful. She's so beautiful, so powerful, such a hard worker. I appreciate her and her, her love. You guys are amazing. I love you guys so much. Good people. Um, they work so hard. They work so hard and are amazing. Good examples. Great people for the community. And I ain't joking. Wonderful people. They deserve every bit of happiness and success they get. You guys deserve it. Okay, so. <clears throat> have you ever been offered a new job or your inner GPS system told you that is not for you? Even though the money is great and it seems to be your dream job, once again, you decided to ignore this feeling and discovered that the work was highly stressful <laughs> and not at all what you were promised it would be. And maybe, it's, maybe they didn't promise you that. Maybe it's not at all what you assumed it would be. So your angel of clairsentience is here to help you trust your feelings so that you don't keep making the same mistakes over and over. They want you to repeat patterns. She wants you to make choices and decisions based on how you feel instead of overthinking the situation, over processing it. 
Once you welcome her guidance into your life, you will learn how to live within your own spiritual vortex. Ooh, cool. I like that. Live within your own spiritual vortex. Remember, if something doesn't feel right, stop and take the time to see how this feeling affects your body. If you have the impulse to be sick when you think about it, this is an indication that you should not proceed. Ooh, great way to make... Guys, this is great, actually. So I, I've been having a hard time lately making final decisions on some certain things. This is fucking awesome. Listen to my gut more. I've been listening more to my head and my spirit, like my emotions. My gut, though, my body will tell me. On the other hand, if you feel happy and excited and euphoric when you think of a decision, this is an indication that you should proceed. Awesome messages today. Hell yeah. All right, let's get a starseed card. I just feel like starseeds, some of you are struggling right now, um, and I love you. You're gonna, everything's gonna get better. Everything's okay. Okay, you're happy. You're looking stylish. You're looking fly. You're focused on mind, body, and spirit. Um, you're gonna get through this, whatever you're going through. And things are getting better. They are. Just remember, like, to get your full potential of success and money. And sometimes you got to let go of control of stuff a little bit and delegate and to really let the energy flow and the business be more successful. And you got to trust sometimes. Put a manager in place. If you're exhausted, if you're fucking exhausted, get a good manager to manage the place. Shit, you got to trust somebody. <clears throat> got to be someone you can trust, a good employee you can trust worked for you for a long time just for when you need a break so you can stay balanced and stable message for star seeds today thank you so much thanks for these messages today star seed messages today for this reading Lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. You're a reincarnated soul. You've done this before. You know, that might be why you get so frustrated with people too. Because <laughs> you're very wise. This owl feather, you're so fucking wise. You have so much wisdom. You have so many lifetimes under your belt. It's beautiful. I'll give you a little healing imagery, guys. Okay, this is black tourmaline for spiritual protection. This is a creative stone and gold for royalty, divine royalty, success, abundance. Um, and also this is clear quartz up here and there's copper in it. Healing. Aww. <laughs> Make everybody laugh. All right. Have a happy day, everyone. Um, things are good. You know, there's going to be sometimes issues that come up in work and life. Uh, whether you work online, whether you have a JLB, whether you have a career going on, whether you own your own business, there's going to be things that come up. And I know it's painful. I know it's hard. It looks like some healing here needs to be done. And you've done this before. Say it's your first rodeo. <laughs> All right. Well, stay positive. Things are going to get better. There's going to be positive change here. A lot of positive change. A lot of healing. All right. Love you guys. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I just saw your comment. Um. You know, I'm not going to stand up today, but, um, you know, I have some pictures of this outfit online <laughs> and I'll, I'll do more pictures of this outfit sometime. Oh, actually, I took some pictures this morning. So guys, I'll post some pictures, um, a little bit more of this outfit on my curvy Aphrodite page, um, today or tomorrow, next couple days. Okay. I'm honestly just feeling, I'm feeling tired. I hope you guys aren't. I hope you guys have a bunch of energy because I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling very settled. Like I really know what's what's up with my life, what I want to do, where I want to go. I'm just tired. I had a very, very busy day at work yesterday. And so, but thank you. I'm so flattered. <laughs> but there will be some pictures coming up on Curvy Aphrodite on Instagram. All right, so follow me on Curvy Aphrodite on Instagram, guys. If you do want to see more sexy photos of me, more intimate, sensual photos of me. And um, 
yeah, it's because I am feeling more confident. It's because I do have a better self-esteem that I'm sharing this. And I'm so glad. All right. So I think right now your self-esteem is rising. You're feeling good about yourself. You're looking good. You're looking fly. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, my. <laughs> All right. Have a great weekend. Happy Sunday. I love you guys so much. So, 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 so much. Stay positive. Work hard. Okay. Put yourself in other people's shoes sometimes. I love you. We'll see you next time. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.